What's up guys, Vans even here again with your 7th tutorial in Java 2D game development. I believe this is 7, might be 6, but I'm pretty sure it's 7. Uh, today, I decided that we're going to do some font stuff, and we're going to actually render out our own fonts onto our screen, so that we can use that within the level and such. Um, before we get started though, I've been thinking today, and uh, I don't know the actual full way I want to take this 2D game. Essentially right now we're just building the engine behind it, and that can be applied into any any really type of 2D game. We could go with like a tower defense game, we could go with a, a uh, like an MMO game, an RPG game, um, I don't know, a sandbox game. We could really do anything that we really wanted to with this. So I'm gonna leave it up to you guys and in the comments section below just leave your comment as to where, what you'd like to actually see this game go to and uh, we can or I'll put a vote up on the main page. That's what I'll do. I'll put a vote somewhere, and you guys can vote on uh, on what we should do. And if you have any other suggestions, uh, more than the vote, uh, then we can just comment those in the comment section. Anyways, so today we're going to be doing the fonts. And uh, first things first is we need a nice font in our in our sprite sheet. So I am going to go out and I'm going to draw. I'm probably just going to go to Defont at the end and get a nice bitmap font. But uh, you got to make sure your font is within the 8x8 pixels. It's okay if it's a, like a 7x7 seven seven or 7x5 seven or something like that, but just make sure it's within that 8x8, eight eight. otherwise it's going to look ugly. So I'm going to do that right now, and uh, once I, these are all drawn, I will come back. And I'll post a link in the description to the font where you can find these kinds of fonts. Okay, well we're back, and uh, here's the font I decided to use. I, I can't remember its name, I just kind of, it was a close font, so I just kind of copied it and made it. Uh, really close to what it should be. So you see we have all our letters here. Uh, I'm just going to do straight uppercase with this. You can do uppercase and lowercase, but you'll need a third line for the lowercase as well. Um, yeah, we have our numbers here, and then we just have a bunch of utility characters that we may or may not use. Also note that this bar does go to the end. Um, that'll be useful when we use spaces and stuff like that later on. So you don't have to make it go all the way, but you do need at least one extra space for the space. So yeah. Uh, let's get straight into the code now. So we're going to need a new class called font, and we will put it in here. And uh, in our font class, we're going to have a string of characters. So actually, it can be private. Uh, static string. And we'll just call it chars. And this is going to be equal to every single character that you have here, including these spaces here. So we're going to need to put that in. So let's go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, and then after you get those, there are one, two, three, four, five, six spaces here. So we put that there. And then we'll go down the line. And uh, actually, we'll just enter this down as well. And uh, now we need the, oops, you go back there, oh, back, and there. Okay, now we need all the symbols, so I'm just going to open this up, and I'll bring this, oops, clicked the wrong one there, and we'll bring this down here like this, just so we can see them both. Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then we got a period, a comma, colon, semicolon, um, Yes, you, and also when we do the double quote, we need to escape it with a backslash, or a forward slash, I think it's forward slash, <laughs> is it a backslash, yeah, it is a backslash, so we got to use the one above the enter key, and below the delete, or the, the backspace key, that slash, use that one, uh, and then we have exclamation mark, question mark, percent, no, money, percent, open close bracket, minus, equal, plus, slash. <laughs> So there's our characters. Uh, now we have all our character array. You have to make sure that these are the same as this. And we also forgot these spaces here, and there were six again. So we're going to do like that. So now we have everything that we need to do. So I've recorded this three times. The interruptions keep coming in. So we're going to breeze through this really quickly. So we're going to create a render function here. So public static void render. It's uh, render. It's going to take a message. Uh, it's going to take the screen. It's going to take an x coordinate, a y coordinate, oops, a y coordinate, and a color. So there's our render function. Uh, the the message we're going to uppercase 
because we're not using any lowercase and up here we have it all uppercase so we want to verify that the characters are correct and coincide with each other. Then we're going to do a loop through all the characters so for int i is equal to zero i is less than message dot length. Ugh. dot length uh, i plus uh, plus. Next what we're going to do is we're going to get a character index so this is going to be uh, an index of where we are within this this long array here or this long string it's going to be what index the actual is and if it doesn't exist it's going to be a negative one <clears throat> sorry about that I had to clear my throat so uh, we're going to say chars dot index of oops dot index of and we're going to say message dot char at i okay so that'll give us the index of the current character and if that character doesn't exist within this this character array we don't want to draw it so we're going to say char uh, index is greater than or equal to zero then we're going to do screen dot render so as long as it's a valid character render it uh, the x position is going to be x plus uh, i times eight this is because we are each character is eight long and for each different character we want to move one down so that's why we're doing that the y is y the tile is char index so we know where it is on here um, and then we're going to add 30 to it and then we're going to just so that we we go down our 30 because this is the 30th column or 30th row down and then we're going to multiply it by 32 just so that we were within the bounds of this this array here uh, the color is color we don't want to include the mirror x or the mirror y and i'll show you why in a second so we just do this and this is going to pop up but that's okay so we go into screen and we're going to copy our render function and we're going to create that function that we just used so we're going to get rid of all this all this garbage and enter that down and then we're just going to call render uh, x post y post tile color false false just so that we can call this function and we won't have to put these parameters in every time uh, this should be a okay now which it is game should be good so we're all good now we're gonna draw it so we're gonna draw it below this we render the board because if we render the, the level first then our fonts gonna be below the level so we're gonna say font dot render the message is gonna be hello world exclamation mark zero one five seven just for some characters uh, x is zero y is zero come on and the color is colors dot get uh, the back color we're gonna have the zero these are negative one because we're not using them you might be using them in yours but we're not uh, so you, you put in your colors for there and we're gonna save it now we're gonna render this out and we're gonna move this over as well so we can so we can see them both at the same time and you'll see it pop up hello world 0157 and we can change this to whatever we want this is our game with an exclamation mark and there's that so we're gonna get rid of the backdrop color now we're gonna put a negative one to make it invisible and we're also going to put 000 for the color because we want it to be black so we can see it uh, now we're gonna position that in the center so how we're gonna do that is we're gonna do screen uh, dot wait screen dot x offset uh, plus screen dot width divided by two and then we're gonna go screen dot y offset plus screen dot height divided by two okay so this isn't gonna work as you see it will kind of work it'll put, it'll start the actual rendering in the center and we don't want that right now we want to center that so what we're gonna do here is we're going to uh, minus from this and we're gonna move it over on the X so we're gonna minus um, the width of this character so we'll actually need this message in its own variable here uh, string message is equal to you we'll get rid of this and then message there oh and this is crashed because I saved it while we were going which I didn't mean to do so it's gonna do that uh, and then we're gonna do message dot length uh, times 8 so we get the current value and then divided by 2 so we get half of it so there's that so let's run it again and this time we should be centered and it should be centered wherever it moves. So you see this is our game is centered and no matter where we're moving this is our game is in the center of the screen. So that's been uh, your tutorial on um, fonts today. 
Uh, stay tuned next episode for when we do some new stuff. I'm not going to say what we do because I keep changing my mind every time we just start. But, um, so yeah. So I hope you guys had a good day. And check the description for the vote where you guys vote on what we actually build with this 2D game engine. And what kind of game we're building. And uh, please leave a comment if you have any suggestions on that. And like this video so that we uh, make more of them. So yeah guys. And have a good day guys.